Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Lord of the Rings. We last left off in Sharky Shipping. I'm your host, Steve is Revenge here, and I made a bigger, I made a big boo boo. Basically, what happened when I restored my game after talking to those humans outside there? I did. I forgot to actually buy the white hand and the the rope again. So I'm pretty much stuck now. So. I'm just gonna bust a uh, knob apple door out of here because the guards below I believe need the white hands for you to get by them so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bust this guy out of jail here let's see let's get our rusty key there use that and now knob apple door drains our party let's let's give him a dagger pony to knob apple door I know I have a spare dagger somewhere. Trade from... Frodo? No. Trade from Sam, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Let's give him another borrow dagger. Now we have like five hobbits with all with daggers or better. Even a bow or bows even. And a dwarf and a, a human female. So that's pretty nice, huh? All right, so I've already been down there. That's where uh, Theowen betrays you. So let's just let's just go and just Leroy Jenkins these guys. The guards immediately spot you. There's the intruders. The leader shouts, "Kill them!" All right. Well, guess what? They're gonna get their ass kicked now. Cause we're, we're real almighty and powerful there. Notice I increased the HP just because one day it finally passed by again, so I needed to heal. Gotta love it how you can use bows and daggers with hobbits. It makes them very versatile. Ow, that guy hit me for like six damage. Nice. Go Druin. Dwarfs are just godly in this game. And there's Nob. Alright, Nob, let's use your mighty ag dagger. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, two down, one to go. Alright, those guys are history. So let's save our game. Now we're going to go downstairs here. And guess what? We get to fight more guards! <laughs> Just we, when we thought we saw the last of them, right? <laughs> Far from it. I think I'm going to put a Thea one up here on point. Sam, nice, nice shot. All right, Druin, do your do your stuff. Nail him. Nice, eleven points of damage. We'll get these guys cleaned out. Oh, come on, Nob, you should have hit him. One down. Go, Sam. Ah. Ow. Sam got hurt for like three points. Come on! All right, there we go. Quit missing. There we go. One more hit and he's dead. Get him, Sam. Yeah. All right, victory. Save that game. Oh man, my life's going down. But no worries. It's common to have your life go down quite a bit in this game. So let's go down here and see what we got here. Ooh. A 
Upon the altar, you see a large black tome covered in thick leather binding. It is open, and a footstool at the base of the pedestal should allow a hob even a hobbit to read it, though it is shrouded with a palpable feeling of evil. Nob says, a wise man wouldn't be reading that accursed book. Well, guess what? <laughs> we're kind of stupid, so we're going to read it anyway. Oh, Nob doesn't have any skills. That, that sucks. I thought he'd have at least something. Be not daunted by the sealed gate. Speak friend and enter. So that's a clue. You only want to read this, I think, what, three times? At the door of seven hammers, speak both the first father's name and then the name of... And then name the number of his people. Okay. Feels as though an invisible fingers are crawling through your skull. You are briefly overwhelmed by the extremely evil thoughts. Thoughts that are not your own. Gazing back at the black book, you cannot help but shudder. All right, let's read it one more time here. Where, where this, the secret flame buried beneath the stone of Moria. Only one who bears the Holy Spirit's token shall pass through the halls with no end to pass within its light. Interesting. All right, so you don't want to read that one, one more time or else then, then bad things will happen. So. Three times is the limit there. And let's go into this little room here. Oh, last thing anyone expected to find in this orc infested pit was a woman's dressing room. Though the room is not least bit frilly, your eyes and your nose do not lie. Gowns and traveling clothes lie strewn here and there. A thick feather bed shows signs of recent occupation and a lingering scent of perfume tantalizes the nose with subtle intrigue. Equally unfamiliar are the books and scrolls piled casually on the floor. An open tome reveals language unfamiliar even to the most learnt among you. Mixed thoughts race through the minds of all. Is it this woman a prisoner or something more sinister? Well, guess what? This woman's actually in our party. Her name's Athelwyn. So let's dismiss Athelwyn real quick. And let's, let's read. Let's read some of these tomes here. You see a diary. There is but a single entry. Rumor holds that ba Baggins is moving to Buckleberry. I will arrange to meet him there. Interesting. So this was a setup, huh? Well, now that we know that, but she doesn't know that we know that, we know that she's basically um, not, on the, not on our side. So... <laughs> We're still gonna use her as long as we can, and then and then maybe later in the game I'll I'll let her leave or whatever, you know. <laughs> but hey, come on, that Thel one's just badass. You guys gotta love her, huh? <laughs> Several slave orcs are resting in the rubble. They look too like they want to fight you, but they are too tired. Well, let's let's look around and see what's around here. Find something that you can use course. Two shovels and a pick. So let's use, let's use the pick. Whoa, get all dark. What's going on? Green vapors belch forth from the crevice, swirling and eddying about the chamber. A cold howl voice echoes. At last, I am free to do my master's bidding once more. The gas overwhelms you in all is darkness. <coughs> hmm. Wow. Excuse me. There is something that you can use here. The, and we get the golden wheel. A key item. Nice. Now you can fight these guys if you want to, but I'm not going to. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave. Let's just get out of here because we came for what we got. What we got here in Sharky shipping, so there's not much else that we need to get. So the golden wheel, that's like a key item in this game, I believe. Alright, so let's go back upstairs here, and let's get out of here. Alright, so now 
we are done with Sharky Shipping. Very, very interesting place, huh guys? <laughs> All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way up north here. Oh, let's talk to this person here. Who's that? That's a dwarf. Have you seen Orin? He should be at the Forsaken Inn. Tell him that Nuri, Bori, and Fallon asked for him. Well, let's talk about Orin. He's just an old friend. What about Nuri? Oh, he doesn't know anything. Does he know any news? Nothing comes to mind right now. Okay, fine. Alright, so now we're going to head off towards Bree. Will we be stopping at Bree tonight, Mr. Frodo? Uh, I think so, Sam. Well, we all need a fireside and nice a, little cut scene. a night's sleep in a real bed. I do wish Gandalf were with us. Maybe he'll be at the inn when we get there. Maybe. And there we go. It's just the hobbits going down the road to Bree here. And now we just, we can keep going down this road here. And let's just explore around a little bit. Now, this way actually leads to the city, but we can't get in because it's nighttime. See, you not won't be allowed to enter the town of Bree at night. So you have to wait till it becomes day to actually get in, because they close the gates. Much like many other adventure games like Quest for Glory. So, we'll save our game here. And next Let's Play, we'll explore a little bit more of Bree. This is Tifa's Revenge signing off. I hope you guys are having a great day. Take care.